Jews of Kurdistan are the ancient Eastern Jewish communities, inhabiting the region known as Kurdistan in northern Mesopotamia, roughly covering parts of northwestern Iran, northern Iraq, northeastern Syria and southeastern Turkey. Their clothing and culture is similar to neighboring Kurdish Muslims and Assyrians. Until their immigration to Israel in the 1940s and early 1950s, the Jews of Kurdistan lived as closed ethnic communities. The Jews of Kurdistan largely spoke Aramaic, as a lingua franca, with some additionally speaking Kurdish dialects, in particular the Kurmanji dialect in Iraqi Kurdistan. Today, the vast majority of Kurdistan's Jews live in Israel. History Ancient times and classic antiquity tradition holds that Israelites of the tribe of Benjamin first arrived in the area of modern Kurdistan after the Assyrian conquest of the Kingdom of Israel during the 8th century BC. They were subsequently relocated to the Assyrian capital. During the 1st century BC, the royal house of Adiabin, which, according to Jewish historian Flavius Josephus, was ethnically Assyrian and whose capital was Abel, was converted to Judaism. King Monobazes, his queen Helena, and his son and successor Isitz are recorded as the first proselytes. Middle Ages according to the memoirs of Benjamin of Tudela and Pethahir of Regensburg, there were about 100 Jewish settlements and substantial Jewish population in Kurdistan in the 12th century. Benjamin of Tudela also gives the account of David Alroy, the messianic leader from central Kurdistan, who rebelled against the king of Persia and had plans to lead the Jews back to Jerusalem. Many Jews fearful of approaching crusaders had fled from Syria and Palestine to Babylonia and Kurdistan. The Jews of Mosul enjoyed some degree of autonomy over managing their own community. Ottoman era Tannerite Asenith Byzani, who lived in Mosul from 1590 to 1670, was the daughter of Rabbi Samuel Byzani of Kurdistan. She later married Jacob Mizrahi, Rabbi of Ahmadiyya, who lectured at a yeshiva. She was famous for her knowledge of the Torah, Talmud, Kabbalah and Jewish law. After the early death of her husband, she became the head of the yeshiva at Ahmadiyya, and eventually was recognized as the chief instructor of Torah in Kurdistan. She was called Tanarite, practice mysticism, and was reputed to have known the secret names of God. Asin Earth is also well known for her poetry and excellent command of the Hebrew language. She wrote a long poem of lament and petition in the traditional rhymed metrical form. Her poems are among the few examples of the early modern Hebrew texts written by women. Immigration of Kurdish Jews to the land of Israel initiated during the late 16th century, with a community of rabbinic scholars arriving to Saft, Galilee, and a Kurdish Jewish quarter had been established there as a result. The thriving period of safety, however, ended in 1660, with Druze power struggles in the region and an economic decline. Modern times Since the early 20th century, some Kurdish Jews had been active in the Zionist movement. One of the most famous members of Lehi was Moshe Barazani, whose family immigrated from Iraqi Kurdistan and settled in Jerusalem in the late 1920s. The vast majority of Kurdish Jews were forced out of Iraqi Kurdistan and evacuated to Israel in the early 1950s, together with the Iraqi Jewish community. The vast majority of the Kurdish Jews of Iranian Kurdistan relocated mostly to Israel as well, in the 1950s. The Times of Israel reported on September 30, 2013. Today, there are almost 200,000 Kurdish Jews in Israel, about half of whom live in Jerusalem. There are also over 30 agricultural villages throughout the country that were founded by Kurdish Jews, according to recent reports. There are between 400 to 730 Jewish families living in the Kurdish region. On October 18, the Kurdistan regional government named Sher Sadomar Mamzani, a Kurdish Jew, as the Jewish representative of the Ministry of Endowment and Religious Affairs. 
Historiography One of the main problems in the history and historiography of the Jews of Kurdistan was the lack of written history and the lack of documents and historical records. During the 1930s, a German Jewish ethnographer, Eric Brauer, began interviewing members of the community. His assistant, Raphael Partai, published the results of his research in Hebrew. The book, Yehuda Kurdatan, Mecca Ethnography, was translated into English in the 1990s. Israeli scholar Mordecai Zakin wrote a book using written, archival and oral sources that traces the relations between the Jews and the Kurdish masters or chieftains. He interviewed 56 Kurdish Jews from six towns, as well as dozens of villages, mostly in the region of Bardanan.